guys, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I am so glad that you're here. I am Deborah Harrison with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs, and today is Make It Monday. Each Monday, I come to you with a quick and fun project for the week, and I am just Sorry, forgot to turn my sound off. Oopsie. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to draw for last week's uh, winner who, uh, everybody who shared, I put your name in a drawing and we're gonna draw a name and you're gonna get the project that I did last week, which was the uh, little uh, curvy keepsake box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of disassemble it, lay it flat so that I can mail it to our winner and uh, send them some happy mail. So let me draw for our winner. And it is Elizabeth. Hi, Tower. All right. Yay, Elizabeth. Cool. I'm going to have to reach out to you. I think I have your address, but I'm just going to do that just to confirm. And you will be receiving this cute little box that we made last week. So um, for this week, if you want to share this week's project, just uh, post in the comments that you shared. Let me know so that I can enter you into next week's drawing. Now, I will tell you when I show you the project, it's not one that I can mail but I will send you the kit component so that you can make it at home. So anyway, let me turn my camera down and we will get started. So today we are gonna actually make this really cute little cup from the Heartwarming Hugs, but I kind of gave it a fall look instead. So um, it actually, if you saw on my Facebook post earlier, I do have the project sheet available on my blog. You can go grab that. It tells you the measurements that I used and the supplies that I used. I will tell you, um, actually it says the September Sweet Stampin' PDF is available, but the October one just came out today and it is awesome, guys. You're going to love it. So if you place an order of $35 or more in my online store, you will get this amazing tutorial. It shows nine, but there's actually 10 projects. There is cards, treat holders, there's even a beautiful scrapbook page. I know you're just gonna love it. It is filled with all kinds of cool ideas for you. So as I said, we're using the Warm Hugs Bundle, which comes with this stamp set and this set of dies. The Warm Hug Bundle, you can find that on page 10 in the US catalog and it retails for $46.75. It's just really fun. Now here you see it as like a, a holiday Christmas theme, but I changed it up a little bit to a nice fall theme. So today I'm gonna show you kind of how all this stuff works together because there's all these complex set of dies and that could be a little bit intimidating. So I'm gonna explain how this all comes together. Now for this particular project, as I mentioned, uh, if you share this video and your name is selected, I'm, it's gonna be a little challenging mailing out this cut. So instead what I will do is I will cut the supplies for you so that you can make your own. You will need to do your own stamping because I, um, not allowed to send stamped images per Stampin' Up! policy. But also too, I'm gonna include this really cute little pumpkin, uh, pumpkin card to go with your supplies. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So let me pull my supplies over. And I want to tell you, there is a template that I posted on my blog and I want to explain that to you because it can be a little complicated. I have this wrap here that I put over the entire cup and you're going to want to download this template. So go over to my blog, but I want to caution you, make sure that you, it is a, it is on my, sitting on my Google drive. However, when you download it, make sure you save it to your computer before you print it. And then when you do go to print it, make sure you set your printer to no scaling or fill page. That way you get the full size template. And the reason I'm explaining that is like this one, Google has like a header and a footer that they added. And when they did that, it kind of squished my template up. So as you can see, this is what it should be. And this is how it printed. So you wanna make sure, like I said, Download it first, then set your uh, printer to no scaling, and look, now we have a nice, correct size template. So when you do download the template, print out a test page first, check it out, make sure that it's gonna fit before you actually cut into your designer series paper, because that would be so sad to mess that up. So here, I just kinda do a real quick check, make sure. Now I might have to tweak it a little bit, and that's totally fine. All right, so next what we do 
is we're gonna take our designer series paper. Now for me, because I am gonna want to make multiples of this project, I, cre I took my paper template and I traced it out onto some heavier card stock, like chipboard, so that I have a nice firm uh, foundation that I can trace along. So what I would do is I would just take my pencil, and if you notice, I'm actually on the back side. So what you wanna do is we don't want our pencil marks to show on the front, so I flipped it over and I would trace on the back here. Then I would carefully cut it out along the lines. And then we have our template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by adhering one end of my template. And I'm just gonna go along here first. I'm gonna set it up in there. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's on there nice and snug. And then I'm just gonna keep gluing adding some glue. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of burnish my seam here, make sure it's nice and taut. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two dies that are in the uh, part of the Warm Wraps dies, and I'm gonna take a piece of the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper, and then what I would do is I would just cut them out. Now, I will tell you when I was doing this, I actually tried the best I could to match up because I am working with plaid. So I tried as best as I could to be able to line it up so they run about the same, about the middle of each uh, die cut there. And so I went ahead and I die cut those out. Now, part of this, there are some little uh, scallop fringe. Then you need to, you wanna make sure that when you're looking at this, that you, you'll notice that there is a top and there is a bottom. The top is a little bit longer because that's the wider part of our cup, and then the bottom would be on the lower band. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out two sets of this. I need two of the top, and I need two of the bottom. Okay, so I went ahead and I prepped this in advance, and then we're gonna put all of our bands on the back. I'm gonna put the top on the top and the bottom on the bottom. So now what I want to do is if you notice each of these pieces has an end tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up those end tabs together. Like I said, it's not going to match perfectly for my lines, but it's pretty close. We're going to add some glue here and then we're just going to put those together and let that dry. All right, so while that is actually drying, I'm going to go ahead and assemble my little tag here. So I have pre-cut out a circle, one of the stitch circles that comes with the die set in the Cajun Craze cardstock. And then with some Whisper White, I stamped warm hugs to you all season long. And I die cut that out. I die cut the Cajun Craze with this die. And then this one was for the uh, little sentiment. And if you notice, there's like a circle that cuts out as well so that you can see behind it. And But what I did is I took and I cut out just the little circle piece here out of some pumpkin pie cardstock and I stamped a little cup in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my layers together and I'm just going to adhere this. The little sentiment onto my circle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a dimensional and I'm gonna pop up my little cup. All right. One last thing that I wanna do is I want 
to color one color a rhinestone. And so what I do is I take my Stampin' Blends. I'm going to use the dark soft suede, and I'm just going to color one of these rhinestones to kind of um, match our fall decor for our cup. That on our little cup, give it a little bling. All right, so now I think that our band is ready to go. So I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm going to gently just kind of bend that, curve it a little bit so that I can connect the other side. We're gonna put that together. All right, so here I'm gonna let that just kinda, I'm gonna hold that for a minute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my cup and I'm just gonna gently put that on there, slide it up, and then when I, wherever I feel like it's sitting well, I'm just gonna put, I mean, just a dab of glue. I don't wanna put too much, I just need enough for it to hold on. I'm just gonna put that on there. And now we're going to add our little sentiment circle. And I'm just gonna use dimensionals for that. And I'm gonna line it up down the middle here because it's kind of hard to work with that curve. Find where I want the front of my cup to be. I think I want this to be the front of my cup. Right there, oops, I'm off. Oh my goodness, that is not the front of my cup. All right, how about right here? Let's go for that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so one last thing that I wanna do is I'm just going to put the lid on my cup. And then I'm gonna add my little bumblebee gingham bow and that will finish today's project. There we go. So what do you think, guys? If you like this give me your love give me your hearts give me your thumbs up if you like today's project uh, share it with your friends so you can be entered into next week's uh, drawing like I said I won't be able to send the cut but I'll send you the supply all right so I'm gonna bring my camera up and I want to tell you about some fun things coming up next week so give me just a moment Guys, thank you for joining me. I hope that you like that project. I just wanna tell you that, um, as I mentioned earlier, Saturday is World Card Making Day. I'm gonna have some special posts on there. Pay attention though. You wanna check out one very specific post because I have a promotion coming up on Saturday for World Card Making Day and it's actually gonna extend for the following week and it's gonna be a really awesome promotion. So you wanna come back, make sure you check that out. And next week, I'm gonna share with you a really cute, fun Halloween project that actually one of my team members, Nathan Spear, made, and it is adorable. You wanna make sure and come back for that. You're gonna love it, I know you will. So guys, I'm going to sign off for today. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and happy stamping. We will see you next Monday. Bye guys.